Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary and I have the 12 days of Christmas using the 12 days of masking essence facial masks and this is by Beauty Spot. So I am going to do day number six. That is where we're at. So we are going to be halfway there and this will end on the 5th of January. is very strong so here we are I have the mask and the mask is actually a tea tree essence facial mask it soothes and purifies so that's a pretty good mask to have let me get the glare out there we go so let me go ahead and cut it open I've tried the little pre-cut slots they don't work for me, so I am going in with scissors and getting this opened up. So let me go ahead and get it on my hand. And I do have a towel, so I did come prepared again. And I am truly enjoying these masks. Some of them are almost gel consistency. Um, it just feels like a gel, a soothing gel because the last few of them, they have had a very nice cooling effect. So let's try this one and see what this one is going to do for us. This one is also like a gel consistency. I know there's some, especially the ones that say moisturizing, it's more like a cream. So that is what I've been getting with those. And let's go ahead and get this applied. And it feels so nice. And it was pretty chilly last night, so this is very cold right now. And for those of you that don't know, these are actually in a room that is pretty much because the vents do not get a lot of flow from the heater. It gets some, but not a lot. It's probably about 60 degrees in there but it feels so nice. Um, but if y'all have been doing Mask Mondays with me, you all know that I already put my things in the refrigerator anyways, but I haven't put the calendars. My fridge isn't that big. <laughs> the calendar would not have fit. And it feels amazing. And I am going underneath the eye. Just making sure not to get too close so that it doesn't flow up into my eyes through the um, wrinkles. That's what I blame it on, the wrinkles. That the wrinkles cause it to flow into my eyes. So next we are going to do our other one. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about making changes um, in your life and Christmas I'm so ready for this year to end I'm just putting it out there but this Christmas was a little bittersweet um, and I'm gonna talk about that but let me get my hot cocoa going it is a little chilly today and I don't know I may have mentioned it before but I usually keep my home at 65 degrees unless we're expecting a freeze then it does go up to 70 or 75 depending on how low the temperatures are going to go for the most part it's 65 so I just woke up I didn't have to go to work so I slept in a little bit and it's a little chilly so I'm just trying to stay a little warm and this hot cocoa is definitely going to help and again I hadn't done this in a minute, but you all know I open boxes before I show you all what I have. So day number six. Day number six is a mint hot cocoa. And I don't know, I've never had a mint hot cocoa. And I don't know if I even showed you what the box looks like. I am scatterbrained this morning. It is the 12 days of Grinchmas. 
and as y'all can see they move around in there but I'm on day six and I am looking forward to finishing these up so we're halfway there now mint getting back to mint mint chocolates I know a lot of people enjoy those um, what are they called New York patties New York peppermint patties I do not so this is gonna be a little challenging for me I like peppermint tea the peppermint and chocolate mixed together I don't know but maybe this will surprise me but I have tried peppermint patties and I do not like them so let's go ahead and try this cocoa and I can smell the peppermint peppermint is one of those scandalous aromas I'm just that's how I see them it is something that you can smell very well here we go and this is my cup of today it is just a small little or a large it's a large cup that I have had for probably a good 30 plus years and it's not scratched on the inside and not cracked at all and I continue to use it it is a cup that was gifted to me by my kids so there we go and I can smell the peppermint so let's here goes nothing you can definitely taste the peppermint not my favorite but it's tolerable I am still going to drink it so but definitely not my favorite um, I was going to talk about changes making changes to your life and I wasn't going to talk about this until I received a phone call this morning um, I am not going to work at my job but I am going to go help a friend move and this is I used to call him my prodigal son and he calls me mom this is a young man um, when I say young man he's probably in his 40s maybe 30s late 30s but he's around my daughter's age and he was one of the men in the recovery home that my son had the a sober living home who fell twice and got himself right back up and is now clean and sober for the past I believe he's going on five years or reached his fifth year already he had not been able to keep his children um, his mother was raising one of his uh, sons and he's got his son and I just found today that he now has one of his daughters and to me that is significant of the changes that he chose to make he chose to move forward he chose to go out in a positive way he chose to make the changes necessary for life and to me that is the biggest most precious thing that you could ever do for yourself is make the changes that are going to help you succeed he is one of our success stories we had several and to me he is a very very important person in my life but he is absolutely one of the kindest um, and the only thing I can describe him as a big teddy bear he is sweet he is kind and he's just an amazing young man amazing human being and I could not be happier for him and any time that he needs help with anything and he's moving so we're gonna help him move we're happy to do it because he reciprocates in a positive way and the things that he did for himself he often thanked us for being where he is and I often told him we were just the people that helped you along your way you made the important decisions you're the one that should thank yourself 
because without your decisions you wouldn't have been where you are now and he kind of gets it but he's still I don't know he's just a teddy bear and I thought I could share a positive thing with people um, and be there for each other like I said we do it with open arms anytime he comes to us for anything and he is one of the ones that helped me move when I moved while he was still in recovery and he didn't hesitate I I needed people to move my sofas my bigger uh, furniture pieces and he did and this was I've been in this home four years now and about four and a half years so he's been in recovery a good five years and I absolutely love this young man to pieces he is like one of my children and he acts like one of my children too but I don't know just once again be kind to each other treat each other well and just start lifting this world one minute at a time one day at a time one person at a time and let's get this world back to what it used to be and that is all that I have for this 12 days of Christmas and thank you all for joining me I greatly appreciate it and I will see you all in the next video until then stay safe stay blessed smile always